Gareth, you only had two full training sessions to prepare for your first game. How beneficial has it been to have a full week with the players this week? It's been great. It's been great. You know, I am... It's uh, yeah, it's a fantastic place, you know. And the more I'm, the more I'm here, the more I'm, I'm realizing what potential's here. You know, there's just it's just such an amazing group of lads and, and staff, and and you know the the place and and just being the QPR manager. You know, it's just so so important and so uh, so honoured to be here. And and let's say I'm, I'm giving it everything. You know, and uh, a full week on the training pitch has been important this week. I think um, getting more players on the training pitch again is going to be really important as well and uh, I'm glad to say that one or two are coming back from that injury list that we've had that's really been uh, really hurtful for this club you know you look at the start of the season and the players that were playing and then you know come through the door and being told that so many are not available but um, oh, we're working hard to try and get everyone fit everyone back and, and let's say have a real good run from now to the end of the season uh, starting Saturday which is uh, it's a, a game we can win. It's no surprise with the recent results that confidence within the dressing room isn't as high as it could be. You're a loud, confident, bubbly character. Have you felt that um, low confidence? Yeah, of course. You know, you come in and and and, and you could you could feel it around the place, and that's the dangerous one when you can feel it. You know, when you can see it or hear about it, it's sort of not so bad. But when you can actually feel it, um, but I need the boys to know that there's no pressure. There's no you know there's no issues here. Um, yeah, the fans will demand and the fans are great and they'll get behind the boys and, and they get frustrated when it doesn't go right. But you know what? They're trying. As long as the boys give me everything, give me their efforts, give me what they, you know, I'll take the result. I'll take it. Give it me, you know. Uh, um, but if it's a win, you take it because your efforts, so you, you deserve that. You know, they want to go. I want them to go out on that pitch and enjoy the football, be together. You know, I want to see them um, celebrating together, not just goals, but tackles or headers or or tiny little victories you know on, on on each on each sort of you know minute of the game and uh and it's so important because that's football you know that's football you talk about um you know you you your sunday leagues or your, your lower leagues you know it's great that's why we do it that's why people do that game and you know we're getting paid for it at, at the second tier in english football wow what a job what an opportunity go out there and be the best that you can boys and that's what we're telling them have you also had to address a shift of mindset? Because eight weeks ago, they were looking up the table. Now they're facing a relegation battle. So it's a different mindset that you have to go into with, yeah. is it? Yeah, I'm still looking up the table. You know, I really am. I'm looking at who we can catch. You know, I see some teams playing and I'm thinking, they're not better than us. You know, we can do this. We can get there. And with everyone fit, I know we can get there. Uh, so now it's like being adaptable and making this work, making the blend work, you know, and uh, and. You know, we, we're bound to lose a couple before now and then. So that happens in football anyway. But the cavalry sort of coming the other way to 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 boost the squad. You know, um, got some fantastic talent. You know, and, and I'm just getting to know it. You know, you see from the outside, and obviously, um, <clears throat> while I'm managing my last club, I'm still a QPR fan, and and you keep an eye on the team and that, and you hear about these players. But you come in, and wow, there's some talent here. You know, there really is. It's just unlocking that, and um, the mind for me is is huge. You know, it's it's the, the biggest, it's the biggest thing, you know, if I can get their minds right and get their minds positive, believing they can do anything, then uh, we're bound to get results and, uh, and that's my job, you know, and, and I'm embracing this challenge head on, I've never pulled out one yet. Has, a, has the quality of the squad surprised you? Um, yeah, I, I knew it was there. Um, they got great training pitches here to play on and, and a great staff and, and you know, it's, uh, it's, it's something I expected, but... Um, in, in, even in some of the moves, you know, it's like, wow, you know, um, I remember I, when I played in the championship with this club, it was, you know, it was, I mean, we're going back 20 years now, but the quality's definitely come on, you know, on the ball, you know, some of the touches, some of the passes, some of the way that people can take people on. Um, but ironically, uh, I think we could do a bit of the, the other stuff as well. 20 years ago, that grit, you know, and that determination that I want to instill in this side because they've got everything, all sides, and I'm saying, not everyone, some, a lot of players have got that. But, you know, these key moments, you know, a um, couple, uh, couple of things we've worked on from Blackburn, you know, we've reviewed the game. The boys have been in quite a bit, you know, um, but we've got to get them fresh for Saturday. Now. I want to go again, get up there, prepare the right way um, and, and make sure that we get those points. And there have been a couple of double sessions in training this week, which is quite unusual mid-season. Is that what you felt was important? Yeah, yeah. Um, Listen, one of the double sessions, uh, the, the big double session on Tuesday was 
a bit of a, a development thing for, for the for the mind as well, you know, and the and the togetherness, everything I'm talking about, this this um, you know the, this untapped thing that you know you see in teams and you think, how are they so together? Look at them, look at them celebrate, look at them all together. That's what I want to bring here, you know. So the football side and the session side, yeah, I can do that all day. I've done it for so many years now, but it's it's tapping in. What excites me is seeing these boys respond to the mind stuff and and tapping into that. And uh, and as I said, the uh, the psychological side of the game is huge, especially with the younger players now. And everyone's on the screens, everyone's comparing everyone with everyone else, and it is you know and and what's important anymore, you know. And that's that's what I want to hit home. So. Um, no, really looking forward to this weekend. As I say, win, lose or draw, I want to be proud of those boys crawling off that pitch because they've given me everything. But I know if they all give me everything, it'll be a win. Rotherham are below us in the table, like ourselves, looking who we can catch. They'll be looking at us. They could go above us if they beat us. They've only lost two of their last eight. So they're a team in form. So like every championship match, this really is a tough test. Yeah, they're, they're, they're in great form. Uh, there's no... There's no two ways about that, you know. I watched them on Monday against Swansea, and uh, and saw a few things that I want to work on, a few things that we need to be aware of. Um, but again, you know, we we we've got to be going into these games, um, every single one, whether it's Burnley or or, or Wigan or, or Rotherham, we've got to go into these games believing we can win the game. Um, that's how it is. I never ever put that shirt on and, and turned up to a game thinking, oh, I might not win this one today. I thought. We're going to win this. I visualise it. I saw it coming, uh, and I want the boys to do that. And I'll be, I'll be making damn sure that they are. Team news: You keep your cards close to your chest, but just on Ilias Chair, who obviously limped off before half time against Blackburn. What can you tell us regarding him? Yeah, uh, not as bad as, as we first thought, which is great. Um, but I'm not telling you what we first thought. So <laughs> no, it's uh, it's not as bad as what we first thought. Um, so it, it was it was tough. Obviously, one of your stars, you know, a big name of QPR over the last few years. In my first game, he, uh, you know, he didn't really there wasn't wasn't really a big incident. But um, he's limped off, and uh, and you know he's under the care of the medical team here now. So you know, without giving anything away, um, I'm uh, I'm quite pleased with the news. So I'm uh, I'm looking forward to seeing. Him. We can get him involved for, uh, for the upcoming games. And very finally, more than 1,100 QPR fans are going to make the trip awesome. up north to, to back you for your first away game. How much pleasure does that give you? Honestly, uh, awesome. Thank you so much. Um, I, can't, I, can't, I can't say how, how much this club means to me. And when things like that happen, um, just hit some that, um, you know, I'm, I'm at the right place. I'm, I'm loving it. I really am loving it. We've got great people. Uh, in charge of this place at the top, you know the, the you know the things came out this week about certain things. We've got great people in charge who care a lot about this club, uh, and I want that to filter right down from me into the players because I know that the 1100 that are coming up on Saturday and the thousands that were there last Saturday, all they want is QPR to do well. I'm the same, players are the same, everyone here is the same. Let's hope we can get the win on Saturday.